Good morning. First of all, I have to apologize. I did leave my astronaut helmet at home. Um, but I am joining you this morning. We celebrate 50 years since humanity's first landing on the moon, July 20th, 1969. And this is a great opportunity to talk about Slow's connection to outer space, the moon tree. So what is a moon tree? Apollo 14 was the third successful landing of humans on the moon. This was February of 71. It was a year and a half after Apollo 11 and less than a year after the near disaster of Apollo 13, um, made popular by my favorite Tom Hanks movie of the same name. Uh, Apollo 14 was led by Alan Shepard, who had been the first American to travel into space in 1961. Lunar module pilot Ed Mitchell took the two down to the lunar surface. Command module pilot Stuart Rusa stayed in lunar orbit while the other two landed. Stuart Rusa had been a smoke jumper. He worked for the US Forest Service in the 1950s. He and his crew would parachute into remote locations to fight forest fires. Drawing on his experience and as a joint venture between NASA and the US Forest Service, Rusa took between 400 and 500 tree seeds in his personal kit to see how their growth would be impacted by zero G. There were five species of tree seed in the experiment. There were loblolly pine, sycamore, sweet gum, redwood, and Douglas fir. Ours is a redwood. This was an era where just going into space was the point. Uh, and this was one of the first projects of its kind. Today, virtually all astronauts bring scientific experiments with them. And botany is a particular interest to study the possibility of farming in space for long-term human exploration missions. Upon return to Earth, both the humans and the seeds were put into quarantine to prevent any, and this is the term that NASA uses, moon microbes, from spreading to Earth. Uh, during this quarantine, the canister holding the seeds burst open inside of the vacuum chamber, and it was worried that they'd all be lost. But fortunately, as it turns out, the seeds did survive. They were sent to US Forest Service stations in Gulfport, Mississippi, and Placerville, California. Uh, nearly all of the seeds germinated successfully, um, often planted right next to control seeds uh, from the same parent, from the same generation, um, and looking at them side by side, there was no discernible difference. Um, although no in-depth scientific study was ever done to compare them, they seem like perfectly ordinary trees, but they have traveled nearly a half a million miles. Most of the trees were given away in 1975 and 76 to cities and state forestry agencies to be planted as part of our nation's bicentennial. Cities could apply for the honor and San Luis Obispo's application was successful. Our moon tree was planted in July of 1976 as part of our bicentennial. It can be found at the southern end of Mission Plaza between the Murray Adobe and the San Luis Obispo Museum of Art right across the street from the History Center. It is on the banks of San Luis Creek, and there is a plaque at the tree's base. I encourage you all to check it out. Um, but in terms of the larger story, it turns out that the bicentennial celebration itself really overshadowed the story of the moon trees. Um, and today, the moon tree is pretty much faded into the background. It's, it's left people's memory. Um, and even at the time, no list was ever kept um, of where the trees went. There was no effort of tracking systematically the fate of these trees. Uh, today, NASA's website lists 79 locations that have had moon trees, including eight in California, but that's out of 500 seeds. Some, including the one planted at the White House, are known to have died. Um, and so, and with so, like so much in history, there's a lot we just don't know. We don't have the full story, and that's why we need to keep working on history on collecting our knowledge to fill in those gaps. Um, kind of like how today, all of you here today, whether your business opened 100 years ago or yesterday, are part of San Luis Obispo's history. And I encourage you to consider um, working with the History Center, whether it be um, coming to our events, we've got a flyer on the, that will be on your way out with lots of events, or you can visit historycenterslow.org. Um, you can also become a business member or business partner um, receive priority invitations, advertising in our newsletter, tickets to our annual, annual gala. And really your support can help make sure that stories like the moon tree and all of the other stories that we together are writing today don't get lost. Thank you so much for your time this morning.